Hey friends and welcome to another reading. It is February 1st, Tuesday? Tuesday. February 1st. I can't seem to remember or care very much what day of the week it is. Um, it does matter though, I guess. And if not, then Oh well. Um, nothing to share today that is specific, so we'll get right into the reading. I'm using the Dream Oracle deck. We have Dwellings in Reverse. So the question or message today has something to do with a dwelling. It doesn't have to be a physical space, but even our bodies as dwellings stuck is the next card that came out yesterday too, didn't it? And abstract in reverse. Wow, so we're starting to look at the details of what exactly is keeping us stuck. Um, dwellings in reverse, man, that could be like... Where is your sense of self? Where is your sense of home? Where does that reside? And has it been misplaced? Or is your definition of home with it for yourself in something else? Let's, re let's read that. Yeah. Dwellings in reverse can indicate a bad home situation. It can indicate a disruption within the psyche. If home is not a healthy environment for you to be in, how can you take steps to be in one that is more accordance with who you are? A home that feels safe. Our living in mental spaces should make us feel safe and protected. Find or create a home that shelters all of the divine aspects of who you are. Hmm. Interesting. So if, yeah, if this resonates for you, it's about, and again, abstract in reverse then, normally abstract is sort of seeing the bigger picture. It's like the mathematics and the wonderment of of the universe and how it's put together. It's like when Eureka happens, you know, in the shower. It's when, um, you know, intense problems can be solved almost on a whim. It's that sort of abstraction concept, um, compl simplicity and complexity, com simplicities within complexities within simplicities within, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, but I think that in the reverse, it is asking to look at the details of why you don't feel that you're in a good place. What, and that's that might be keeping you stuck. Uh, so I'll read the reversal of abstract real quick. You're focusing too much on the bigger picture and not the details. It's time to take action and make your dreams and goals a reality. Make sure you are not overlooking the details. Create a plan to achieve your goals. The abstract in reverse can denote a malevolent magic is hindering the querent or the question. Uh-oh. Um. Usually I start every reading with like positive messages only, please, but this does feel like someone is trying to keep you small. Someone else's energy and it doesn't have to be someone you live with or someone that's like in your in your physical dwelling again this could be like your sense of home who's in your energetic bubble um this might be some there might be somebody around you who doesn't um necessarily want to see you succeed um or if it's not that intentional maybe there's just you know a difference in what it is you want versus the needs of other people. And so if you're not in alignment with people anymore, that can cause sort of unhealthy home environments because the, per the people you're giving your energy to in, in your immediate circle are not feeding your goals. Um, they more so want you to go in this other direction. And so this does feel like it's time to say goodbye to some things that aren't working. Um, Primarily relationships, I feel, is the message here. But let's see what else it'll say, what, what it could say. Um, 
a home and dwellings I also associate with um, identity and your own sort of intuition. So if you've been um, covering your own identity or intuition with things that other people want from you or just other obligations, um, I'll say this, like, you might, whoops, if you're focusing too much on the external elements of your life, um, you know, some of that we have to address, we have to be participating in our 3D world, yes, but look at the details of how your participation in other spheres in your physical world is actually hindering you from getting what you want in this in in, in your life like your dreams and and that that's the message here let me find this card yo it doesn't help that they're that they're dark cards oh my god there it is it was death yep it's time for change so i'm going to take that as the energy underneath uh, death, Scorpio, death and rebirth. What a, what a lively reading. <laughs> Let's see what else is happening. Four of wands right under dwellings. And again, that's, that's also the home card. Maybe you don't know what you want. That's sort of what I'm getting here. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I didn't even say the cards. We have the uh, Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Wow. So I sense here that, um, I think that you've been building your sense of home. You've, um, this is, yeah, Commitment and Chariot, you know, and Chariot's like this very, I'm going to move forward energy, but it's also coming from a place of vulnerability. So it's almost like you are, you're giving away pieces of yourself as you're building a structure that is not only for you, but for the people around you, right? This is like your sphere. And I, then the seven of cups shows up, which is kind of confused uh, in the sense of, are you doing this for you? Are you doing this for them? Who is this really for? Because I don't really sense that everyone is benefiting from this activity in the same way. Um, and so that might cause confusion. Like, what are your intentions? Um, confusion can be a, a thing of stuckness. Or, like, look at the details of, like, why is this... What is this energy exchange? Um, it's almost as if you had been doing some sort of activity or some participation you've been involved in has been in order to to participate i don't want to say participation trophy but that's sort of what i'm feeling it's like you're doing this despite your own reservations despite your own um despite or maybe to address feelings of anxiety um when we feel anxious um, we feel that we need to behave in, in ways that make us feel not anxious, like at home or peaceful, as in, in the safety of others. So you're doing the best with what you have is sort of what I'm getting. But what I'm also seeing here with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles is that you have been doing it this way as a means to, yeah, maybe address some anxieties or to, um, 
for you, it might have been the quickest way to feel like a sense of belonging. Um, and then that turned into, well, actually, this is quite a lot of responsibility. And at the end of the day, it's maybe taking too much from you and not enough fulfilling you. So I think you need to change your approach, as in the hermit, go in. I love that the hermit again shows up under the um, the row of abstraction in reverse because it's about the details. The hermit is looking within to understand their own guiding light and where they're going. And so you might not yet know where you're going, but you know that something needs to change because you feel, I think, maybe some resistance to where you want to go. Um, based on where you have been is not the same. I like the saying, um, what got me here won't get me there. So you can't just sit here and say, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because it has been working up until now. You want a different result? Your ideas of self are changing. Your ideas of what you want in your life or what you want to create are changing. You need to act accordingly as in understand your motivations, understand where, what kind of structure you're trying to build for yourself and whether or not people belong in it or not. Because it's okay if, if they don't. But, you know, that's how you're going to address some of this confusion, I feel. I think, you know, I think this confusion is also part of like, you don't maybe know exactly how it is you're still sensing sort of which parts are you versus which parts are a conditioning of building an identity based on participation or a sense of belonging. Because I, there's the nine of swords here in the center, which is all about our, you know, this energy of fear or anxiety. And that if we're not participating, then we'll fall behind. If we're not giving ourselves, if we're not giving enough of ourselves to somebody else, then they won't want us anymore. People should want you for whatever it is that you have to offer on any given day. That's that's a liberated relationship. That's unconditional love. You don't. Ha you shouldn't have to work so hard. Although I will say, we know that all relationships require work. But a liberated relationship will give you the freedom and the space to process your own things without needing to show up perfect every single time. Uh, they'll also give you the space to change your mind and decide, I'm going to go for this other thing now. What I've been giving to you up until this point, I cannot give to you any longer. I need to withhold this or I need to reserve it for myself and see what it feels like for me to receive this own energy until I decide to offer it to anybody else again. Whew. Wow, so that was the reading for today. I'll leave it right there. That felt like a bit of a rant. But um, I hope that this message finds you well. I hope that you're able to have the courage and the discernment to make the right choices for yourself um, today and every day into the future. Um, what else? Um, happy Black History Month. Um, like and follow the videos. Um, there's music and more descriptions below if you want more details. Um, 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 I don't know. I think that's it. So, uh, have a good day, y'all. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.